All right, man, I've been uh, pumping out these videos like crazy. So this is likely going to be my last video for at least at least until Monday. But I might also take Monday off as well. I guess we'll see. So, all right. Anyway, so Sunday finance right now it's 4 p.m. Eastern, so it's going to launch in one hour. So I just want to try to get a quick video out. You know, start ranking for this. This is a Genesis pool. So normally I wouldn't do something like this, but obviously it's ice cream Sunday finance. Hmm. I really could use some ice cream. So you know, there. So obviously this is going to probably be legit. And here you have Toon Fork Watch retweeting the actual, you know, Twitter here, and of course Sunday Finance app, which we just literally came from. So I know that this is going to be probably legit. So. Obviously, there's only one supply, and that's the Genesis token, like I like to call it, just to get things going. And obviously, the price is just through the roof because, you know, there's nothing out there yet. So, I'll go, I'll go over the boardroom real quick, because, uh, you know, just, just to get out of the way. But basically, the boardroom will be open in 72 hours and 58 minutes as of this recording. So, obviously, you'll just have to check. Obviously, I'll have all, I'll have all the links in... You know, the YouTube descriptions, you can check up to date. Uh, oh, so look at that. Your, your, what do they call it? Your straws will be stuck for 36 hours, so no thanks. And you can't claim for 85 hours anyway from now, so. Yeah, I'll stick with the liquidity pools. Hmm. I have to swallow this spinach. I forgot to swallow it. Because I, I literally just came back from walking for about an hour, or an hour and a half. Went to Burger King. I got something very small, because I like this coupon from Burger King that someone just left at the front door. Uh, or front lobby, I should say. Uh, of course, I had to clean it with, like, antibacterial soap, just because it was on the floor. So, and I'm going to handle it on my hands. I want to kill all the germs. All right, so I look so. So first and foremost, I should probably say that there is a one percent deposit tax, which is kind of hefty. But I mean, considering that I actually did the Genesis pull for Frozen Tomb and like basically what happened with that project, right? I mean, I made a lot. I mean, I printed so much money off of that. So, you know, and it was the same thing there. You, know, you take your Snow Tomb tokens or slot tokens as well. And you stake it in Frozen Tomb, and then you just print money, essentially. So here, I expect this to be no different. And on top of that, Ice Cream Sunday, Ice Cream Sunday Finance is actually much bigger in terms of total value locked. Let's see if we can get the current number. Yeah, this this thing this thing is basically like what three or six? I don't even remember what it was when Frozen Tomb came out, what the total value locked of Snow Tomb was at the time, but it was way smaller than 2.8 million. That I remember. Yeah, look at that, the prices are already going back up. So yeah, because people are getting ready to, you know, farm the Genesis pool. So, as luck would have it, let me see, what are you earning here? Fudge. Okay. And there's a fudge AVAX and a fudge die LP. So, again, I don't like that you can immediately start farming more of itself already. I was kind of hoping they don't have these, but oh well, what are you going to do? So anyway, just be aware there's a 1% tax. So I actually found out that I overweighted. I, I don't know why I put so much into Ice Cream Sunday Finance, but I have 75% C-Share AVAX and then 25% in the cream. But the, the, the toll of these two is around $450, which is way too much. So I guess I guess this mistake, what, at least to me a mistake, actually winds up in my favor because basically I get the maximum multiplier here. So I'm good to go. I'm ready to just farm the shit out of this Pepego. Yeah, I'll lose $4.50 immediately upon deposit with this 1% deposit tax. But I mean, again, if it's a legit project, which I'm pretty sure that it is, then whatever you know i'll just i'll just i'll just keep dumping my fudge <laughs> i'll keep dumping the fudge now am i going to do fudge avax lp or fudge die lp chances are i think the answer would be no but again you never know because like i obviously have to wind down my positions in ice cream finance anyway it's a little too high 
like it's too high for the very low APR. I'm better off putting it in, you know, your Drassel money or really Zilla Zvax or Z shares. So, or even Piggy Finance to be honest, because that thing just got hit really hard. The correction is on its way back up. So anyway, you could just take a look at all the various, you know, thingies here. All right, you can even do single staking Genesis pools, but obviously you get way less money. So in my case, I'm obviously just going to ape into, well, not ape into, but, hmm, excuse me. So I'm basically going to unstake everything from Yield Wolf, right, because I'm auto farming, you know, ice cream finance. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put it right into here. So let's see. Okay. All right, so C Share AVAX has right now $120.2,000 TVL, and the daily APR is 97.33, uh, you know, thousand. So obviously, I expect this number to go way down as more of us get in, especially as we get closer to five o'clock, right, which is 54 minutes from now. And on top of that, the man, the heat's been going on a lot. Let's see, Coin App Gas Tracker. The problem is AVAX. Is seeing a lot of, oh yeah, I think it was Coin Tool though. Yeah, it was this site. Yeah, AVAX is seeing a lot of launches today, so the gas fees are actually unusually higher for a Saturday afternoon. And the good news is it was as high as like 222, and now it's down to 65. So hopefully, when five o'clock rolls around, you know, you'll still probably have to pay more gas, more in gas than you would like or I would like, but it should be, it should still be okay like you're not gonna be happy i won't but i can live with it right because before people in the elite discord were telling me that you know they were all complaining about the gas fees earlier because i think everybody well yeah because everybody was aping into a new project that just launched today called elixir right but it's spelled e-l-e-x-i-r i have no idea what it is and i don't really care to find out so but i'm sure a bunch of youtubers are covering that so if you want to search for the elixir there because I stay away from node projects, all right. I'm all about the tomb forks because I can just simply I could just simply dump everything on the yield wolf and then just set and forget, all right. But if I do node projects, I have to manually waste time compounding and claiming, compounding and claiming. And then on top of that, my web browser has like 50 different windows open, all right. If I'm in like 50 nodes, it's like I'm never doing a node project again except Ape Universe, and that's only because. The devs and the team is in the elite discord and they were like one of the first people there so okay you know yeah so obviously i'm just making an exception for them just solely based on that okay so that's c share avax let's see what cream avax lp is so cream avax lp is way lower because there's way more people in here uh, yeah, for whatever reason, a lot of people on Ice Cream Finance do not like doing uh, C-Share AVAX LP, which is great for me because I get to hoard more of the rewards. Like, I get all this. I get, I, um, right now, I can basically gain three times the amount of money. Right now, I haven't staked into any of this because, you know, I'm waiting on this to go down, hopefully. And plus, it's, not, it's, it's still 51 minutes away, so I, I have time to wait. And in the meantime, you know, I'm constantly farming, you know, a little more liquidity tokens on Yield Wolf. Okay, so there's that. I mean, I guess you could do single staking. I guess nobody put anything in here. Oh, I didn't notice this, but when I mouse over it, you can look at the background. Like, it's moving the, all this Sunday soda pop bubble thing. So that's a pretty nice touch. There's honestly nothing in here yet, so we'll find out what it is. It'll probably be pretty high. Of course, same thing over here. Uh, or not. What? What is what is liquidity pair? Oh, this is interesting. I thought this was going to be whatever uh, AVAX, but this is actually in die.e. Oh, so for whatever reason, this thing is using die. Oh, which would explain why there's already money in here. Because I'm like, oh, is this the liquidity pool? So, uh, okay. Oh, yeah, and then you can see, you know, some of this, you know, I guess summary of everybody that's staked in. Okay, so we got docs, which are not actually out yet. Okay, so I was going to try to find out what the peg for this is. Uh, I'm going to take a wild guess that the peg is 1 to 1 AVAX. 
but because they're also using die, no, I don't really know actually. Yeah. Yeah, I might have to just open the window because the uh, radiator is on too much. Okay, well, I, I well, I guess that's about it then. I mean, yeah, so I'll leave you with this. So remember, everything's gonna hyper pump and then hyper dump, right? And then once we find out what the peg of this is, you know. I mean, I'll definitely do another video on this, right? Because once this thing settles down, you know, I want to do my, you know, standard video, right? You know, Sunday Finance, like the title of the YouTube, Sunday Finance, you know, 8 to 15% daily APR, blah, 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 right? Or whatever the APR happens to be, and I'll start ranking for that. But obviously, there's really, you know, nothing to really rank for, right? I mean, there's really nothing to report. I mean, I'll probably still put this as the Genesis pool, but I'm also going to write in the YouTube description, expect this to drop rapidly, you know? Because obviously, the more people that deposit into these farming pools, the lower the quick, the lower the APR. In fact, the APR just dropped a couple hundred percent, right? Because another person put in like $1,000 or something. So, yeah. I mean, I guess that's it then. Like, if you're crazy and you want to buy this or swing trade this, like, good luck to you, but I wouldn't do that. You're, you're really just better off staking the ice cream finance tokens, get the free money, and then you can decide what you want to do with it. In, Snow t in Frozen Tomb, I chose to actually take a little bit of profit and compound most of it, even though I knew it was going to go down. I just keep farming more and more free money and just see how that goes. But then I did have it also fund a lot of other projects, too, so... This time around, what am I going to do? Uh, you know, I actually don't really know. Um, I, I actually don't really know. So chances are, I think I might actually just take a little bit of profit, to be honest. I'm just going to get my rewards and just dump it on the open market. How long is the Genesis pool? Okay, well, that didn't help. Because they used to have the tweet pinned, but I think it lasts for three days. Alright, that's the fake thing. Most of them, uh, oh yeah, here we go. So, okay, here we go. So, the pools go live in 47 minutes, and the actual liquidity pools, the normal staking, starts on Monday, also at the same time, 5 p.m. Eastern, or EST for me. And the boardroom will also go live 24 hours after that, yeah. So, all right, well, it's good that they consistently pick 5 p.m. Eastern as their time, or 2 p.m. Pacific for them. So, yeah, and look, the gas we just went down. So, I, I think, I think by the time I have to start using the AVAX network, hopefully it should be at, like, 44, right? 44 gas. Still not ideal, but still kind of cheap, I guess. All right, so... I'm going to run the uh, on assumption that this will, the Genesis pool will last at least three days, and probably no more than that. Uh, and with that being said, I don't know what I'm going to do with my fudge. So, I, I don't know. I'll think of something. I mean, again, I think I'll just dump it all, right? And just keep dumping. And then when the Genesis pool ends, I break up my liquidity pools, because I'm pretty sure that C-Share and Cream are going to be going up in value as well while this is all going on. So that's a great time for me to you know, take profit and exit, and then, you know, reduce the amount of money that I have invested in ice cream finance. Because again, I have $450 in ice cream finance tokens. That's just way too much. Uh, I want to go to here. So, yeah, let's see, 115, 501, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, all right, fine, whatever. All right, so that's pretty much it. I'll see you... Let me try and get this as a thumbnail, hopefully. So I'll see you, believe it or not, I think Monday at, at least. But maybe, honestly, to be Tuesday. Because, you know, I pumped out a lot of content yesterday and today because I'm not going to be available tomorrow. So unless some emergency happens, right, you know, I want a couple days off, uh, basically. So I'll see you all at least on Monday and then, or Tuesday. And then the next set of videos... Let's see, I have to do Platinum Finance, Partial Finance, Tornado Cash, and APU. Update video after Genesis. So, I don't know, it could take about a week or so, or maybe up to two weeks before I can do another update video on Sunday Finance, because I, might, I basically want to do the video when it's at, at its correction. 
But I might do the video when it's still way too high, and I'll just simply say, just be, uh, just be careful. It's supposed to go down. So, you know, maybe just wait it a bit. So, you know, we'll see. All right, enjoy the rest of your weekend or President's Day holiday, because that's apparently the holiday we have on Monday. Like you're here in America, it's stuck like me. And uh, yeah, happy Genesis farming. Well, I really hope there isn't there isn't like some kind of secret rug pull scam that they've been plotting for months or weeks, and then, or worse, they the devs screw up something, and then we all lose our money because of you know human error. Uh, but for the most part, I I, I figure you know. 2.8 million total value locked, you know, can't be wrong, right? So whatever this number turns out to be, yes, two, yeah, 2.741 mil. Because obviously these prices are going up and down. Yeah, this thing goes a do down a dollar and already this thing like drops 60 grand in total value. How crazy is that? All right, see you all next time. Happy, uh, happy Genesis farming.